You are listening to the Get Global Network podcast of the Ask Avani Show. You can hear the show live on Saturdays at 3 p.m. in London, 9 a.m. Central Time in the U.S. on SoMetro Radio, one of the original member stations of the Get Global Network. I'm on it with a vengeance today. <laughs> because when I seen some of these um, articles and stuff, I was like, oh, yeah, we are sharing because that is just so out of order. Apparently... Hungary has hit back at Austria's criticism of the Nazi-like asylum seeker policies. I'm sorry, but look how they're treating them. So um, whichever country, they're right to tell them whether it's Austria or whoever else. They are out of order. How are they going to treat people like that? They're looking them up and in open, out in the open. I remember seeing on the uh, news the other day that it was raining really, really badly. And, you know, when the mud gets caught up with the water and it was disgusting and they had to traipse through this okay they were treating them work like i said they were treating them worse than a dog and i just thought and they're throwing food at them and all this and i'm just like wow and the thing is they it's like they're trying to keep them in hungry i've already said it they don't want to be in hungry they just need to pass through that's all they're trying to do isn't it you they're know, just, just trying to get through. to a better place. I mean, and, and you can't it. fault anybody that wants to get to a better place. No, as a human being, can they not see, okay, listen, you know, who wants to live out in the o- outdoors, sleeping in mud, sleeping on the floor, sleeping on railway tracks? You don't want to live like that. Who wants to live like that? They shouldn't even have had to travel doing it this way. But unfortunately, this is what's happened because they've had to do it in, so en masse. That it's just crazy when you see them. And, and, and now, before that, they were saying, oh, they used to um, do the, you know, the crossings at night time, isn't it? Trying to avoid the authorities. Now, it's like every, you know, half an hour or something, there, there's a new one crossing over, whether it's in Greece, whether it's in, in, in Europe. They're crossing over so frequently now that it's become, I shouldn't even say it, but it has. It's become the norm almost to see these boats offloading all these migrants, isn't it? Because it just keeps happening. Every they just have to get out, you know, and oh my god, link eight, okay, Rose. I'm sorry, but I saw this and I and I've seen it on the news, so we know that it's happening. People are being treated like animals in in camps, especially in places like Hungary and other places. Mm-hmm. It's not, but I have to say this. Oh my goodness! When I heard this, I just thought you were having a laugh. Uh, link nine. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard this, okay, Rose, but Hungary are going to arrest illegal migrants. Hello. Arrest them for what? What for, for crossing into your country? Are they serious? I mean, again, they are serious. First of all, which is sad. These, these people, I couldn't believe it. I just thought to myself, "Are you really seriously telling me that you are prepared to go to the lengths of wasting time and court money to put people through a court criminal process just because they stepped into your country because they're an illegal migrant? Are you having a laugh?" Well, man, that's <laughs> the thing about it. When you apply the word illegal to anybody as a person Uh you are putting together a a narrative to Uh incarcerate them if need be (laughs) but but that's again once you start calling anyone illegal i mean to me they're refugees to me they're displaced syrians they are not illegal they haven't broken any law Wow. They're not illegal to me. That's like they say illegal aliens in the United States. These are people that are trying to get to a better place. They are not in this country, quote, legally, but they're not yeah, but illegal. That's right. So what they're saying, basically, you are illegal because you, you shouldn't exist here. So, right. so that means that you're illegal to us. Right. But no human, that's why I saw that picture and I had to share it because no human being is illegal, are they? So what they're saying is, oh, we'd like to wipe them off the face of the earth because we don't want them here. If you see the heavy handed response that they are having at the borders with the armed, armed police, when they start doing tear gas and water cannon, that's when I've got a real issue with that government. I, I'm sorry, that's disgusting. How are you going to do that? And, and, and then, see, this is what I mean about, again, reporting. Because they're saying, oh, um, people in the Western world are not going to have sympathy with any refugees who have been found to be pelting the police back. But I'm sorry, the police are the ones that hit them first. They they were hitting them, obviously. They're firing tear gas on them. They're firing water cannon on them. So, hello, why shouldn't the migrants get angry about it and want to be, you know, throwing sticks and bottles or whatever back at them? Well, it's, it's a they, reaction. Yes, it? It's a reaction. I mean, and, and if I am being treated in a certain yeah. way, you know, and then I can say whatever you want to call the treatment to be, mm. 
I'm going to have a reaction to that. And I may not have a, a logical reaction because I'm so upset, but yeah. I'm going to react like that because I have my whole family with me and, and, and we're just trying to get to a better place. And you basically are shooting a water cannon that hits my wife pregnant or otherwise or yes. hits my toddler. I'm going to have a reaction to that. Oh, my God. Now, if you see how many pregnant women there are and little babies and little toddlers and children, and there's a lot of them that are collapsing with, with, which, you know, with everything, really, the exhaustion, the stress, the tiredness, the hunger, the lack of sleep. The, the woman collapsed. She's pregnant, heavily pregnant, and she's collapsing. And they're firing water cannon on, the, on them, and they don't, it's indiscriminately. They don't even care who it is. They're just firing it. You know, and it's hitting everybody. And, and they were spraying the tear gas now. And people are, are having breathing problems and all this. I'm like, what is wrong with you? You know, and all because they're saying to them, please let us pass kind of thing. And obviously, there's, the fighting is starting to break out now because they're getting frustrated with being held like cattle in a pen almost. So can you imagine how they must be feeling of course they're going to start getting angry because you still you're telling them as we've discussed you don't we don't want you here you're illegal we don't want you and we're going to keep you out they're building see all these years you know after they used to say they used to do the borders now that it was free borders they everyone could move around now they're going back to building borders again all them wired fences oh, yeah they're yeah they're building fences yeah. you know at the borders to yeah. to control entrance into their countries oh like you know what you see how spiteful you are Good. wow and okay and because obviously hungary borders on different countries each side they're gonna they're basically going to do on the croatian border on the serbian border they're trying to keep building all these borders around there so so no one can't get in all these <laughs> fence they're building all the fences fences they're yeah, building the fences, fences, fences around the, borders, the borders yeah, yeah. And, Again, it's no, no, again, those people, that's like the, the conservative <laughs> world that, that I live in. And, and there are some people that aren't conservative. They're liberal that think the same yeah. way. But it, when, you, when, you're, when you don't have the compassion mm -hmm. to feel the need, because I really think that people have to feel the need mm -hmm. to do this. I don't think this is something that um, I think it should be just a natural reaction, too. Mm -hmm. And if it's not a natural reaction for you to feel the need to help someone who is in need, there's something wrong with you as a person. That is my <laughs> personal opinion. I'm not being funny, but can, you, can they not put themselves into someone else's shoes for five minutes? Yes. Just five minutes. That's all it's going to take for you to even try to begin to fathom the horror that they've gone through, which is the reason why they are literally running for their life. Running for their life. Can they not fathom that? Well, That's when I just, every time I look and I see this, I'm just like, you know what? You are so disgusting. And, and Link 11, K Rose, they're saying that the migrant crisis is forcing the European countries to enforce desperate measures. Now, mm, when you say desperate measures, okay, <laughs> desperate measures to me does not include sending armed guards to these border lines. And then reinforcing the fact that we don't want you here, we're keeping you out, like you're some kind of disease and, and, and as we've discussed firing on them with tear gas and, 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 and water cannon and all these other things that they're trying to do to, 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 to hurt them you don't do things like that these are people in need and, and I'll say it again they just want to pass through they ain't trying to stay in your little country <laughs> they just need to pass through well but again these when you frame them as an illegal quote alien you are saying i don't want you here and i'm not letting you easily stay or even get in my country and hey we just live in this stupid crazy world again it's crazy man i just oh, oh oh it's crazy and link 14 you see now everybody i'm sure has seen and i sent you this didn't i the link to this um you know the boy on the beach the yes. little boy, the three-year-old that, that died with his, with his brother and his mother because he was trying to, you know, get to, I think they were going to Turkey at the time. And a Alan Kurdi, isn't it, his name was. And you think, wow. <sighs> but you see, this is, again, there's always something that they're trying to bring out in the media ab about somebody on the negative. Now, this man, the father, he's lost his whole family, right? It's just him now. Obviously, he's got his sister, but she's in Canada. But he's lost his whole family, and they were trying to get to Canada. And the story is that they tried to do it the legal way, and the Canadian authorities allegedly did not, you know, take on board their their application. So eventually, his sister gave him the money to say, "Okay, I can't get you in that way. You're going to have to try and and come, you know, the, the smuggling route way." Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So now, link 15. Apparently, this is, again, apparently they're saying that he, the father, Abdullah Kurdi, is being forced to deny being a smuggler after new questions emerged from the picture of his son's dead body that shook the world. This is what they're saying, that he was a people smuggler. Can you believe that? Because he was trying to get his family out. Yeah, but no, they're trying to say he was a people smuggler and he was smuggling others and being paid for it. This is the story that he's having to refute now Mm. because they're trying to make him look bad, trying to besmirch him. Listen, the man has lost his family. Can you not let him grieve in peace? (laughs) Can you not let the man grieve in peace? So basically, and then there's another article, uh, Link 16, Carol's, that said that um, there's a woman, a grieving mother, because one of her children died with his sons. So they're saying that he, the father, offered cash back to the grieving mother whose children died with his sons. So they're trying to say that he is a people smuggler. And she's, this woman who lost her child or children, is, is trying to, like, like corroborate that story to say, yeah, he was a smuggler because he offered to give me money after I lost my child. But she was saying, oh, well, no, no, I, you know, I don't want the money or the money can't bring back my son, obviously. Or, you know, it's true, it can't bring back her children. But they're trying... <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not. Obviously, I don't know. But the way that the the media frame it, trying to make him look bad as a people smuggler, as someone who was trying to profit from it, he's lost his family. Do you know what I mean? So, like, they always want to control what the narrative is. They want to say, you know, the reason that we beat up John Johnson was because 15 years ago he was doing bad things well that was 15 years ago he wasn't doing that when you beat him up or when you bid this man lost his children he wasn't going out there which again i'm not sure either because it hasn't come to light that way but yeah it doesn't look like that he was trying to be a trafficker he was just trying to get Uh himself and some probably some people he knew out of the country Uh uh-huh i mean sometimes you have to if he's a people smuggler, see, I don't like that term, people smuggler, because when you hear that, the connotation is, you know, people who do not care about the people that are asking them for help. They're just saying, listen, if you can afford to pay and you want to get out, then you're going to give me money. And if you ain't got no money, I ain't take it. I'm not helping you. That's the kind of, you know, that's what I think of when I think of a people smuggler. You know. Well, but that's so, somebody that it made like you advertise and you do it. You tell people you're doing it and you do it. Yeah, he wasn't doing yeah, that from what I understand. Yeah, yeah, from what we understand, we don't think you, he was doing that. And he's a grieving father now because he's lost, you know, he's lost everybody. It's not like, you know, God forbid, you don't want to lose one. You don't want to lose anyone in your family, especially not this way, you know. But he has lost so many people that he, he he's broken. I mean, I don't know if he'll ever be able to come to terms with it. Can you imagine? He lost all of them, and they were all coming to him to, to, to be able to go and get on a better life. And it's you all know? because so, he was trying to get them to a better life. That's what the yeah. key thing is. A better life. Now, can people, again, we're about to take a short break. Wow, today's show is just going so fast because... Oh, the show topic is really crazy, but I, I have to say this. This is what I want to leave you with before we take a break. Again, link thirteen, Caros. This is this is what is being, in my mind, brought down to because you know they say it's always the innocents that suffer. The, the you know so it's the kids, and I just I'm just curious, link thirteen. Why do child migrants want to come to places like the UK? Now, children. Let's think about that. And a lot of these kids that are coming, some of them have lost their parent or parents. So they're orphans now. You know, so, yeah, we're going to go to break. Please think about that. Read that article at Ask Avani Show. <laughs> when I read through it, I just thought, wow. And it's so sad, some of these little stories. <sighs> so, yeah, we're going to take a short break. And we will be back after this. Hi, this is Avani. You're tuned in to the Ask Avani Show podcast on the Get Global Network. Good afternoon and welcome back. You are on the Ask Avani Show. This, oh yes, today's show topic is, whew, it's something that I know people are seeing all over the place. It's been all over the news and it's just going to keep on coming at you, hitting you right between the eyes. 
today's show topic, just in case you have just joined us, where you've been, but I'll remind you so you know what we're talking about. It is migrants' crisis. Is there no more compassion in the Western world to help people in need? And are the EU and UK governments only saying what they think will make them look good? Yes, I went there, people. <laughs> good afternoon and good morning.